Aladdin Creations. Hello guys, welcome to another video of Aladdin Creations. My name is Kavindu. We all know staining procedures are different laboratory laboratory based on age of the stains and also there are a lot of shortcut methods. But main staining principle and procedure should be same. So in this video, I am going to discuss with you hematoxylin and eosin staining procedure which I learned in my university under the supervision of histopathologists. So let's start. Consider principle of hematoxylin and eosin staining procedure, we can divide it into 10 steps. Deparaffinization, removal of xylene, dehydration, nucleus staining, differentiation, bluing, counter staining, differentiation of eosin, dehydration, and clearing. Deparaffinization when we consider step 1, deparaffinization, the main aim of this step is to remove remaining paraffin wax from tissues. For that, usually we use xylene reagent. Dip in xylene 1 7 minutes and xylene 2 7 minutes. Remove of xylene. In this stage, purpose is removal of xylene and replace xylene from alcohol. Dip in absolute alcohol 1 2 minutes. Absolute alcohol 2 2 minutes. Rehydration. Next stage is rehydration. The main aim of these steps are removal of alcohol from tissues and replace alcohol from water. Because stains are always water soluble, for staining, tissues should take into water. Dip in 90% alcohol 2 minutes. Eighty percent alcohol, two minutes. Seventy percent alcohol, two minutes. Sixty percent alcohol, two minutes. Finally, take all tissue sections into the water. Nuclear staining. Harris hematoxylin is used as nuclear staining dye. Dip the light in filtered Harris hematoxylin solution for 10 minutes. Hematoxylin is a basic dye, so it can bind and stain acidic components of the cell. Next, push the slide in running tap water for 5 minutes. Remember that it is necessary to use running tap water to remove unnecessary stains. Differentiation For differentiation, we use two quick dips in 1% acid alcohol. Then wash in running tap water for 3 minutes. Z 
since the acid solution altered the color of the tissue to red this step is to identify correct end point and to remove excess staining you requires some practical experience to check under microscope to assess the differentiation blue in then perform the blue in step by dipping in 0.2% ammonia water lithium carbonate or scotch tap water for 2 minutes then immediately wash in running tap water for 3 minutes to stop blue in process This blueing process is important to give cool bluish color to the acidic cellular components. Counter staining. Next, perform the counter stain by dipping site in 1% emulsion for 5 minutes. After that, should wash in running tap water. The counter staining step is to stain cytoplasm, muscle fibers, etc. The pink counter stain also helps to differentiate between nuclei and non-nuclear components in cells. Differentiation of eosin. In this stage, it removes unnecessary eosin by using 95% alcohol. Quick two dips in 95% alcohol is enough. Dehydration. In this step, we again remove water in histological sections. For that, we dip in ascending concentration alcohol series. Alcohol replaces water in tissues. 70% alcohol 2 dips, 80% alcohol 2 dips, 95% alcohol 2 dips, absolute alcohol 1 2 dips, absolute alcohol 2 2 dips. Clearing. Finally, clearing tools changes of styling 5 minutes per each to have clear background and to remove alcohol from tissue sections. Then you can mount with mounting media such as DPX. and observe the quality of the staining under microscopy. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. What do you think about this video? Leave a comment. And in my next video, I hope to discuss with you how to identify and confirm Staphylococcus epidermidis bacteria in laboratory. So don't forget to subscribe my youtube channel and hit bell icon to update with more medical laboratory science and medical related videos like this thank you